Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can empty OneDrive storage. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open file explorer. If you don't find this here in your taskbar or in your desktop, just go ahead and open the start menu and then go to the search bar. And after that, search for file explorer. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. And then once you do that, you're going to be right here. So I'm going to maximize this window. Then here, as you can see, guys, in the left, you're going to find all of the sections. Here you're going to find home, gallery. Right here, you're going to find OneDrive, desktop, downloads, and so on. Go ahead and click on OneDrive. And as you can see, guys, right here, you're going to find all of your saved files in OneDrive. You can remove them from here or you can go here to OneDrive. Right click on it and then here you're going to find all of these options. Here you're going to find copy, expand, open a new tab, open in a new window, pin to quick access, pin to source, compress a zip file and so on. Here you're going to find always keep on this device and here you're going to find the option to free up some space. Go ahead and click on free up space and then once you do that, you're going to be able to free some space. If you go here to OneDrive, right here, you're going to find these three options, view online, settings, and here you're going to find folder color. Go ahead and click on settings, and then this will take you right here to this page. Once you're here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find the uh, sync and backup settings. Right here, as you can see, guys, you can enable or disable saving photos and videos from devices, saving screenshots you capture on OneDrive, and you can also go here to manage backup. And right here, as you can see, guys, you can disable or enable these uh, options. And once you finish, click on Save Changes, and then you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.